Hey guys, this is the Sports Hub. I'm Connor O'Gara. First week of high school basketball is in the books. We've got a lot to get to today. We have a Coach's Corner interview with Kearney High coach Scott Steinbrook. We have a little bit of a subject I want to clear the air about, of it being a kind of a carryover from football season into basketball season. Going to voice some opinions on that. We have a new special that we're going to be doing every week called the Sports Hub Call of the Week, where I highlight a specific game, talk about the matchup, and then, of course, give a prediction. But before we do any of that, we talk three stars in this program. And what a great way to start three stars this year. Jake Samuelson scores 47 points in an overtime victory against Elwood. He just absolutely did it all for the Vikings. If I've been asked before, you know, how do you end up in three stars? Is there a certain criteria? Yeah, you score 47 points, and you probably earned your spot in this program. Samuelson, a kid that I profiled, in our summer series called Summer Jam. He said, I'm going to have to step up more, be that vocal guy, be the guy that demands the ball in those situations down the stretch. That's a nice win for Betrayne. If they can get performances like that out of Samuelson, they're going to be in really good shape. The second kid we want to highlight, Creighton Ryan, a kid that we just talked about last week, saying I've also got to step up, be more of that demonstrative voice uh, for my team. Overton Sr. really stepped up, 28 points, 10 steals, and a 60-53 to victory against Loomis. This is a guy that can create so much havoc with his length and the press that, that Overton likes to run. He and Caleb Beckman both so important being able to get those steals. You get 10 steals, you're going to end up in three stars. Sorry, that's just a fact. Third star we want to look at, Reagan Miller. How about this? Steps up in the biggest possible way for Axtell. Gets a, gets a buzzer beating uh, buzzer beating shot uh, to beat Bertrand. That's a game where, you know what, that can go either way. Such a good back and forth battle, but Kelly Cooksley's squad able to prevail in that one. Didn't even matter that Reagan Miller only had four points in that game. Biggest two points that she could have had came in the final seconds for Axtell. If they can get contribu contributions like that out of some of those underclassmen, Axtell, another team that's gonna be in good shape this year. If you know who college basketball analyst Jay Billis is, you probably know that he's long been a big believer that basketball is just getting way too physical. And that's kind of a trend that I've seen in the past, well, in this first week of high school basketball, is that it's just been way too physical so far. I don't know if kids still think it's football season or what, but so many games just getting into the double bonus right away. And you just can't do that. And there's there's been so many opportunities where kids have, have fouled and have made basically football type plays. And they've questioned, why is that being called a foul? Kids, you know, kids and coaches and parents are going to say that the games are being called too closely right now, but officials are kind of being put in a tough spot. Yeah, you can't exactly swim move a kid and expect not to get a foul call on Games just Games are just too physical so far in the early part of this season. Yes, maybe that's a little bit of a carryover from, from football season, but I'd like to be able to see more of the finesse play kind of come out. Yes, you can still be physical, you can still uh, be that commanding presence in the post, but got to be able to hold it back a little bit because too many of these games are just getting into the double bonus way too early. We want to be able to keep it clean, keep everybody happy, keep the official's job a little bit easier, and just play good basketball. Stop worrying about all the physicality. Just get back to playing good, solid basketball. Carney High boys open their, open their season with a weekend split. Trevor Leibarger, of course, with a big buzzer-beating three to beat Lincoln Southeast at Lincoln Southeast in overtime. First time the Bearcats won there in over 20 years since Scott Seinbrook has been with the program. I got a chance to catch up with Carney High coach Scott Seinbrook in this edition of the Coach's Corner. Well, the biggest positive is just that we bounced back on Saturday night, you know, going to a place that we haven't won in a long time after getting thumbed on our home court by Miller West. Uh, a lot of resiliency for our kids to go on the road at Southeast and, and pick up a close overtime win. So we're proud of the effort and the bounce back win. There's no question that Friday night was an eye opener for some kids. As much as we bang on each other in practice, it's still a little bit different, you know, when the lights are bright and, and you're playing against somebody else. And Miller West came in here and they are a real tough physical team with some big kids. And I, I don't want to say we weren't ready for it, but it was the first time some of those guys had really experienced it firsthand. So we'll get better. That was a, that was a good opening round opponent for us. You know, that opening weekend is tougher than it's ever been. Uh, that, that trip beats going down to Hayes, Kansas. As much as we love that trip for a lot of reasons, opening up with, with Miller West and Lincoln Southeast definitely prepares for this coming weekend with Miller South. Um, so what we learned going into the next night? Well, we learned that Miller West is pretty good because they turned around and beat Bellevue West, number one team in the state, on Saturday night. We defended a lot better though. Our help side defense was better, we communicated better, we rebounded better, and that translated into at least giving ourselves a chance to win, then our kids made enough plays down the stretch to get us that win. You know, it's, it's, it's a big confidence boost, you know, because he had a kind of a rough goal, like I said, on Friday. It turns around, hits four out of five on Saturday. You know, shooters are funny sometimes. You know, all of a sudden you hit a couple, the basket seems like it's three times the size it always is. You miss a couple, and then it, it seems to shrink a little bit. So he's a confidence type kid. When things are going well, 
balls going on the hole, and he can really put up some points. And other shooters are the same way. Uh, Jake Waller's a good shooter. Peyton Wilcox is a good shooter. Austin Murray's a good shooter. They haven't shot at great yet, but it'll come. In this week's Sports Hub Call of the Week, we're going to highlight two teams that, as of the filming of this, are undefeated right now. Anzi Litchfield girls, Elm Creek girls, are going to travel to, Anzi Litchfield's going to travel to Elm Creek, and really it's going to be, I think, a really good showdown between a couple of defensive-minded teams. I've talked a lot about Mike Ford in this program and the job that he's done rebuilding Elm Creek and what that team has become. A team that's only allowing 29 points per game to start off the season. Obviously, so much under-talent class on that team. I just think that Anzu Litchfield has a little bit too much Lindsay Siegel. She is somebody that is capable of taking over in any, really from anywhere on the floor, offensively, defensively, our Hub Territory Volleyball Player of the Year. Just such a great athlete, somebody that can really take over these games in D1. Her and Shauna Pate's really huge for what, uh, for what obviously the Spartans are going to be able to do this season. Have gotten off to such a nice start. I think that they're able to win this one, 48-39. A reminder to coaches in the Hub Territory, make sure you're emailing us all of your box scores. We want to get those the night of your games. Email those to sports at carneyhub.com. If you're not seeing them in the paper, shoot us an email and we'll see what we can do for you. That's, of course, how we find out about all the three stars. And if you have somebody that you want to nominate for three stars, feel free to also email us at sports at carneyhub.com. We want to make sure that we're getting the best in the Hub Territory in this program every week. So for Connor O'Gara, this has been the Sports Hub. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next week.